And look at that, it comes right off. It's brilliant. Yes, guys, welcome back to Hair System DIY. Today, we're gonna be doing a tutorial. It's gonna be involving glue, removing it from the hair system. It's not as easy as tape, but this is an important video to make because a lot of people, including myself, just use glue right now. And I wanted to show you how it's done in the quickest and easiest way possible. So let's get into it. So let's get started with this. I'm just This system, by the way, has been on for about two weeks, which is roughly the time that I usually sort of wear it. But since I've been become a more experienced hair system wearer, I'm, I don't think so much about how long I've had it on. Um, I just basically remove it when the time feels right when it's getting a bit too itchy. And I find that I just get longer out of it. I'm already getting C22 in my eyes. <laughs> this stuff is a nightmare. It is a nightmare, but it's very good at removing adhesive. Also, when it gets into your eyes, I'm sure people who have removed systems before watching this video, you'll know what I mean when I say adhesive remover just gets in your eyes, it's part and parcel, but it doesn't really hurt. It's just, just a bit irritating. This system's coming off quite nicely, actually. Ah, there we go. System off, hey presto, look at all that glue that's been there for about two weeks. So let's get this glue off. So look at this, guys. This is the hair system base. A lot of old glue on that, on the mannequin, okay? So yes, as I said earlier in the video, it is a messier cleanup than tape it does take longer but there's a few things i've learned along the way sort of shortcuts which do save you a little bit of time i do begin with cotton wool balls because it's quite a good way of sort of pulling together the glue off of the base so you can see a number of cotton wool balls and you can actually unravel them so it gives you like a bigger surface area to work with and you just dab it like on that. And what will happen is it will literally just attach to the glue, which is still on the base. And you usually need a couple, a couple of these. So unravel it and then just press it down. And the glue literally just attaches um, to the cotton wobbles. Now, when I first did this and I watched a tutorial which was quite old from someone else. And it wasn't very complete because I, it made it appear as if you could put the cotton wool ball, cotton wool balls onto the glue. And then you just sort of swoop it and the glue would come off. And it doesn't quite work like that. It's actually a little bit harder, especially with ones like sort of ghost bond. So what I do now is I just use an old towel and I literally just scrape it because the towel has better like pulling power, better friction than just like a cotton wool ball. And you can just pull it like that. And look at that, it comes right off. It's brilliant. And obviously you do get some glue residue on the towel itself like that but you can just whack it in the washing machine. So I just put it on 60 degrees, 60 degrees centigrade, and it pulls off all of that glue. But look guys, look how easy this is. It wouldn't be this easy if you didn't put the cotton wool ball on first. So make sure you, you use that technique with the cotton wool ball, just push it down onto the base and the glue just attaches to it. And then you can start using the towel. Obviously don't, go too rough on it like this is a poly it's an ultra thin skin don't go too rough on it but it should with a moderate sort of medium amount of pressure come off like that and it just saves so much time like when I was doing the the cotton wool ball technique on its own 
it just took so much longer and I had to put shampoo on the base and stuff like that. And it took like three times the amount of time that it takes just using a towel. Someone on the Facebook group, which is in the description box below, someone recommended me this towel approach and I was like, no, nah, this can't be right and it sounds really messy. And yes, it's a little bit messy for the towel, but as long as you've got a washing machine and it can go up to 60 degrees centigrade, just put it in a wash with other clothes once a week or once every two weeks, whenever you remove a bond and just make sure that it's an old towel that you don't really use for anything else. Or if you don't have one of those, just buy one, just buy a cheap one. It doesn't have to be Egyptian cotton or anything fancy like that. It can just be any old towel. And look at that, it just comes straight off. It's absolutely fantastic. And I'm already well over halfway through the job and I've literally been doing this for probably less than five minutes. Whereas when I was doing it with purely cotton wool balls, because these weren't effective on their own at getting all of the glue off, I had to take it into the bathroom, I had to shampoo the base with the glue on, sometimes put conditioner on, a bit of soap liquid, and it just took so, so much longer and it's so much more effort. So for me now, like the towel option is 100% the way forward. You do get a few little sort of stragglers, as I call them, of glue. Also, you wanna make sure that if you've got glue on the towel, like there, either pull it off, because otherwise it will just go straight back onto the base, or just use a different bit of the towel to keep going with it basically. So it's a little bit more stubborn in the middle. That's because I usually put like two layers in the middle so I get a really sort of good, good bond. Okay, pulling it off like so. And it's just coming off so, so, so easily. Look at that, perfect. For a bit of context, the glue that I used this time was Transdermal by Pro Hair Labs. It's pretty much my favorite glue at the moment because it holds really well, it's water-based. Uh, the only problem is it's not, it's not that widely available, at least not in the UK. You can't get it on Amazon. I have to go through a website called Holistique to get it and they're very good, but I, I actually haven't found anywhere else that sells it. So it's not as convenient as just going onto Amazon Prime and getting it delivered the next day. Although with Holistique, they're, they're really good. They're really good actually. Uh, I usually get it, I think it's about three pound delivery and I get it pretty much always within 48 hours. And it lasts longer than Ghost Bond because you don't have to use as much. And it lasts, I mean, it lasts longer than actually Great White as well or any other bond that I've used. Um, so it's one I'd recommend. I'm pretty sure they sell it in the US as well. Um, I'm not sure which vendors in the US sell it, but in the UK, Holistique is the place to go. Now, I've pretty much got all the glue off, most of it, but as I said, you always get stragglers. So as you can see, nice little stragglers there. Just gonna towel my hands because they've got a bit of glue on them. Right, it's at this point where I put on some C22 just to loosen any of that residual glue. And I leave that for a short period of time whilst I chuck this old glue into la bin. That bit, pre-discovering the towel trick, that bit would take me 20 minutes to half an hour. <laughs> I laugh because I can't believe I used to spend that long doing it, but the towel technique has taken a lot of time off. So we've got a nice bit of adhesive remover on there, just push it up and down just to get rid of any of that excess. Because so I can still feel there is a little bit, you, you, you know because it's still a little bit sticky when it's sticky to press. But that's pretty much it all gone. Okay, and the bin. And then lastly, I just put some isopropyl alcohol because you wanna make sure it's clean. You wanna make sure it's sanitized to go back on your head during the rebond. And I did do 
a rebond about nine months ago video with tape so if you want to check that i have mentioned it earlier in the video but if you want to check that check the card at the top of the video right now and you can go straight to that one once you've watched this one of course and there we go it's nice and clean brilliant now that was easy wasn't it have you found that technique helpful? Do you think it could save you time when you're removing glue adhesive from your base? I really, really hope so. Let me know in the comments box below. Now, it's time for this to go in a 60 degree wash. It does pull all of the glue off, but don't use it as a, a bath towel or a shower towel. Just keep this specifically for cleaning your hair system. Please guys, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. These kind of tutorials are really, really popular with people and I find a lot of people find so much value in it. So please do help the channel keep growing. It's a really exciting time. Now, don't forget to check out my tutorials playlist because that has plenty of videos showing rebonds, showing how to remove tape, showing you know shampooing and conditioning your hair system and so on and so forth. Please do check that out. It's popping up on the screen right now. I am gonna get this system back on now and I'll speak to you very soon, guys. Bye for now.